back. Yeah. The Ephraim champ is back. The champ is here. So I'm gonna carry on calling myself that for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Everybody uses 4-3-2-1. You should know this now. It's the formation, right? My defenders, I like having certain traits. I like aerial. Like, at E-Premier League, everybody used Team of the Year Van Dyke. This is how important chem style, not chem styles, play styles are. I forget shooting as a defender. But even passing, yeah? In form, 83-91. Team of the Year, 91-99. Agility, Team of the Year trumps him. Like, he can turn. This Van Dyke Stiff can't turn. Like, you get, all, you get the point. All the stats are better. However, Team of the Year Van Dyke only has silver aerial. And Inform has gold aerial. Forget long ball pass. I'm not doing anything with long ball pass here. But we'll get into that player st play st uh, bleh, 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 play style a little bit later. Aerial plus for me is like, I need them on my CB. You can look at any defenders, but my most important chem style. I might stop saying chem style. Is aerial. So let's just pretend. I don't know. We're low on coins. Who are we looking for? There you go. A Kim Min J. He's not got the best play styles like silver wise he's not got many he's got play style plus aerial obviously for the other cb i'm sort of looking for the same thing so a good example is arudiga a minotau he's six foot three he's six foot one but they both got aerial sort of thing so i'll just put minotau in for now right forget the squad i'm just showing you what players i sort of like to use moving forward to the fullback ignore this cb i'm not actually putting this cb in but just so we can go into custom tactics i'm gonna put them in my custom tactics first 35 width, 65 depth. I'm not going to go too in detail on this. Um, it's just when the defense is narrower, it's harder to concede in it. Like, your team's more compact. And higher depth because I can press a little bit. And if you get caught too far back, you're easy to attack against. So, yeah, 65 depth. There's not more, too much to that. Balanced direct passing. It's been the meta for three years. I'm not going to get into that. Seven players in box. Three corners. I got two free kicks, yeah? So, that's my tactics. That's, like, the base of the tactic. And I'm just going to do the defense for now. I like my right back. Balanced overlap. So, let me get back into the squad screen. What sort of players can do what I like from a full back at right back on balanced overlap? Overlap. What sort of play styles am, am I looking for? Well, if you can have a fullback with goal technical, it changes the game. Obviously, my right back now is on balanced, right? So I like going down the right hand side a lot. That's the side I usually attack. Now, for left back, my left back stay back, but I do attack down the left a little bit. So I get the ball down with Chilwell, I do a little step over, right? And then look, R1 dribble. Whoa, cha -cha 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 -cha. Yeah, side to side, and then the cutbacks sort of open up it's boring fifa but it's effective fifa fc sorry fc for both the fullbacks especially my left back i don't know why i look for pinged pass ping pass is so important for me to play how i want to play like so important because you can drill it into certain players from angles you might not be able to drill the pass into from ping pass you understand so like a, a Jordi alba silver technical silver ping pass Jordi alba will be a quality left back i'm actually interested and using him on the road to glory. One chem style I hate on full wax is whipped pass. And the issue of whipped pass is when you want to try to do a dink to the back post, it doesn't dink in a way where your players lock onto it like overpoweredly. Does that make sense? So like my right back at Eprem, I played him off chemistry of Bene. And it's because he's got silver technical, he's got rapid, and most importantly, he had aerial plus. So if you're playing someone who's just crossing, 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 if you can find an aerial plus full back, so an Og Bene or left back, Camavinga, he's got aerial plus. Right, and the reason I can use Jordi Alba is because pros always put on Haaland at left forward, yeah? Or like the taller player at left forward. So I don't cross to the left forward from the left back, which is why I don't mind whip pass on my left back. But I would never use whip pass on my right back. Know that, yeah? Right back, no whip pass. Now, for the central centre mid. For me, this is the most important player in the team. I need a player with long ball pass because they get us everything going for me. Whether that's Patrick, KDB, Schweinsteiger, who I used at E-Premier League, Tiedemann, Chalanoglu, all of these guys. And it helps even more if they have five-star weak foot. Like, for example, this Casemiro, long ball pass, five-star weak foot. He's got the pinged pass as well. And he's got aerial. Basically, long ball pass makes un usable players usable now one of my favorite midfielders in the game this year is javi so here's me at the pro open week two where i had javi in the team and i i got 10 points out of 12 almost completed the greatest comeback of all time so the whole time i'm looking for a pass into javi i find javi and then i send it over to on your battle and you get in so one pass slices open the defense well, it doesn't slice it open, but it gets you in a positive position. Here I have the ball with on your battle. As I pass it to the centre back, I send my right back on a run, right? And then I send it to on your battle. And I get in from that. And once again, 
It's an easy goal. So, long ball pass splits open the defence. It gets you in good position. So, yeah. That's why I'd always look for a long ball pass player. Five-star weak foot. So, if you send your left back, you can send them as well. Now, for the right centre mid, I'm not too picky of this position. It's a position where I just want a player who's good at football. Whether that's... I don't know. A Bruno. I like them to have four-star skills, four-star weak foot or above. I like them having finesse shot, but if they don't have finesse shot, it's not the end of the world. For example, this Bruno I like, he's got pings pass. I don't really care about the long ball pass at the wide centre mid positions. I'm not too interested. But yeah, right centre mid, I'm not really too bothered. You can sort of put anyone you want there. I'm not going to go in depth in that position because it's not an in-depth position. My centre mid tactics is on stay back, cover centre. And the right centre mid is stay back, cover centre. And then the left centre mid is balanced cover wing because in defense in this the left center mid is going to play left mids i'll get into it a little bit later uh, but yeah my left center mid is the attacking center mid which is why i like to have a good player on the ball there so i can do step overs or a taller player but i'll get into that in a second for example a patellus is perfect and let me show you why a patellus is perfect five star five star finesse shot let me show you an example my lesson against the ball edge of the box she's five star five star so what do i do here step over the ball step overs you can step over either foot Right, either foot and then finesse. Even a four-star, four-star finesse shot player. Just know, a player with a threat from downtown. You could go for the option I chose at E Premier League is where I use the taller player at left centre mid. Who could a taller player be at left centre mid? A Haaland, any type of Haaland, any Haaland version. I used Socrates at Pro Open one week because he had silver aerial. And he's six and four. And you can send them on a run and dink it to him. And like you can knock it down, header. So yeah, I like having a, either a five star, five star player or a tall player at centre mid. But for now, just so I can carry on doing tactics, I'll put in Zidane. For the striker custom tactics, your right forward needs to be on stay central, get him behind, come back. I've got him on come back because it means your left centre mid is going to defend at left mid. And your right forward is going to defend a right mid. And you're going to defend in a 4 4 2 basically. So right forward, stay central, get him behind, come back. The striker, Stay central getting behind And the left forward Is stay central And that's it Instead of running away I want them to always be an option Say I attack down the right hand side I want them to be there for a cross Say I'm attacking down the left hand side I want them to sort of come short So I can fizz it to them And look for a finesse shot One sec let me load up the example. Actually, before I show you the example, let me show you what type of player I like at left forward. Obviously, all the pros use the tall players to win headers and knock the ball down to. Yeah, we all know that. Pros will be pros. I'm a pro, so I use Saul off on weekend league. You lot have seen enough examples of the ball getting crossed to a tall player. The other option is to have a finesse shot player. So let me just put Dag Leash in the team, for example, right? You have a finesse shot player. You can fizz the ball to them. Touch, shoot. So I'm playing lyrics here. Once again, E Premier League. 75th minute, I'm 2 0 up, right? I literally pass the ball to Henri. Who is my left forward? Touch, shoot. Yeah, goal. 3 0. As easy as that. It works at the highest level. It can work in chat. It just works, yeah? Now, for the right forward, I just like them to be good on the ball. I can make stuff happen. And their job's just to sort of create for others. For example, a player I liked using at E Prem was a human son. Like, a finesse short trade is not going to hurt at right forward. Forward, but it's not something I look for. I liked having a player with technical, a player with quick step, just a player that can move. And Son, he helped me create a goal once again against Lyrics. Lyrics, I'm sorry here in quite a lot of these examples for the video. I apologize. I get the ball to Son here. He can move. He's five star, five star. Opponent don't know whoever. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go right. I mean, he's got power shot as well, so I might power shot. So here we are. Go down the line. Just a little dribble. Just a little dribble. That's not really him being good on the ball. You get the point. Like, I just like a guy good on the ball. And I want to show my goals off. And then the striker, I usually prefer the skill moves. But I like someone with five-star weak foot now. Like an Alex Morgan. Five-star weak foot. Finesse. So if you they get the ball, touch, turn, shoot. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can just sort of do whatever. So yeah, they're sort of the play styles I look for. Let me go through it again. Left back, pinged pass. Maybe a rapid. Maybe a technical. Right back, technical. Ping pass. Anything but win whip pass in the right back center backs aerial plus center center mid long ball pass the left center mid right center mid is not too deep striker five star weak foot maybe a finesse and a left forward finesse shot every day of the week or you could have an aerial plus and just cross the ball but that's up to you that's my main tactics that's my formation that's it in depth and in detail with examples and to see the game out which i haven't had to do that much this year the tactics aren't too deep for this it's the instruction i go 4-1-4-1 these are the base tactics left back i go stay back Right back, stay back. The DM, I go cut pass and lane, stay back. Cover center and deep line playmaker. Because I like having the center center mid and a 4 1 4 1 with long ball pass. So if my wingers are making a run in behind when I'm trying to hold out the game, I can just send it to them. And a deep line playmaker makes them come short to you. So yeah, that's that. The center 
mid, stay back, cover center. The right mid, come back, stay wide. The left mid, come back, stay wide. And the striker, stay central. So yeah, that's the tactics I like on the 4-1-4-1. Play styles ain't important. Just make sure your center DM has long ball pass.